then we have an option called SQL developer web. Yeah, so this is the SQL developer web view. So here uh, we can able to see uh, our table, our schema, and uh, there is some database actions here. So we can, uh, here also we can write the SQL queries and we can execute. And here we can see the data modeler and REST capabilities we can see. And there is also an option to use liquid base, some kind of charts, dashboards, and suppose we want to uh, have a schedulers for automation purpose. So from here, we can able to create the schedulers. So here, uh, here also we have SQL workshop, but it is limited. So we can uh, just run the queries and we can able to see the object browser. But here it is like uh, the normal Toad application or SQL developer application will be there. No? That functionality they have converted into web view. So this is about SQL developer web. Can you, can we schedule uh, any scripts like I know DB, DBMS scheduler now you can run a shell scripts and Python scripts also can it can you schedule it from here? Yeah, we can schedule. So basically, while for scheduling, uh, there is a job, so we need to create the job. So what are the types available? Can you just drop down that PL SQL and what else is there? The type here. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, first, we, first we need to select the schema, then name. Assume that like something like uh, there is some expiry reminder we need to send for all the customers. Then it will be a name like a reminder expiry notification job or scheduler. Then we can have a PLSQL block and we can have a chain then stored procedure directly if our database have procedures we can map that procedures then uh, also there is different type if we have program we can also uh, map that thing and scripts also we can map and here so as i have selected the procedure stored procedure it will ask for schema that we need to provide then procedure once we have selected the schema procedure from that schema will appear we can able to select those things then here execution mode will be there so whether uh, it should run only one time or it will be repeating on hourly basis weekly basis or uh, uh, on, uh, it is like repeating then we can also schedule for future then destination where it should run in the local database or remote database. So when, if we have connected any uh, database with the DB link, then we can use that option. Then there is options like auto drop. So reset and recovery, uh, those things. So details will be covering while creating actual things.
Yeah, this is about the SQL developer web. 